Until you say it like that If I hate you then I'm someone new Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm gonna be doing a first impressions. Um, so what this means is that I'm just gonna be trying new makeup out from PR or things that I bought in on my own. So yeah, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. So yeah, let's just get into the video. First and foremost, I always, always tell you guys to do this is moisturize your face. Right now my face is looking a little dry. I don't know if you guys can see, they've gotten down so much, but I have like hives all around this part of my forehead. It's only in the middle. I don't know what happened. I think it's because when I was getting my my eyebrows threaded, um, she did go up more higher than usual. So I kind of like I think that was it. That that's what really damaged my skin. So I think that's what you know made this happen. So that's why I have like bumps here. It looks so gross. What is that thing where you like see a lot of like holes and like I don't know. It's so weird because it's on my forehead and I keep seeing it. it just freaks me out so much that. I don't know, it's so weird. So yeah, you guys, let's start by moisturizing our face. So if you guys are not familiar with Ipsy, they did send me a few things um, on their Ipsy, is it glam bag? I don't, I don't know because I'm not really familiar with Ipsy. When I started to do like YouTube and stuff, I really wanted to try their, their um, subscribe thing. And I never did because I couldn't afford it. So I think it was like $20 a month or whatever. But, but at that time they did have like little mini travel products but this time they're carrying like full size products which is amazing so i don't know how much that subscription is but they did send me a ipsy products so this is it right here this is the ceo sunday riley oxidant moisturizer cream hydrating protect and repair moisturizer okay this is for skin that's damaged that's super sensitive that's dehydrated and has dullness so this is going to even your tone too it is going to um prevent premature lines and wrinkles so I'm all about that you guys y'all know that I am a just a junkie when it comes to facial creams this is how the packaging looks like so what I'm gonna do is just put some like this Ooh, this is super rich guys I like this it smells like lemon I am liking it so far and you guys know how I feel about my moisturizers. At night, I always like like more rich moisturizers. And then in the morning, I always apply like more lightweight moisturizers. Look at my skin. My skin looks so good right now. Wow, it looks really good. It looks rich and moisturized, which I mean, who doesn't want that in their skin? So I like it so far. So and now I'm just gonna start with my eyebrows because I did change up my routine. I don't know if you guys have seen my videos lately um but i have changed it up a little bit i'm gonna get my locatine i think that's how you pronounce it the bar soap and what i'm gonna do is just brush my hairs upwards and downwards so see how much fuller my brows look that's what we want to achieve um i really love how this technique is working on me so i'm gonna just stick to it so i'm just gonna skip this part because i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it a lot lately All right guys, so we have our eyelids good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and now do my eyeshadow. I've been debating whether to do my eyeshadows with the new Too Faced Tutti Fruity um, palette. This one right here is more like a raspberry, well, hello, raspberry, pineapple. Um, they're both different palettes. But I also bought a Kylie palette, the summer collection, I think. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, but I got, I know, I told myself I was never going to purchase things from Kylie Cosmetics. But you know what? This palette was calling my name and I also bought one for you guys um, because I, like I said, when I hit 200k on Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway, um, a makeup giveaway. I'm not sure what else I'm going to put in the giveaway, but you guys are going to, one of you guys is going to win the Kylie palette so I did buy one for you guys 
this. I'm just so excited. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should try to do it with the Kylie Cosmetics palette or this Jouer. I did get sent this palette. This is the Jouer Rose Gold Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. The packaging is so freaking beautiful. And then this is how the inside looks like, but I'm not sure. Like, I'm so, oh my God. And then I also bought this. Um, this is the Natasha Denona Tropical Palette. And I bought this like, I want to say like a month ago. I bought it because at Sephora they were having like this big sale. I think this retails for like $90, not sure, $120. I know that this palette is very expensive, but I got it for like $70 at Sephora. I think it was like an online thing. But you guys, the colors are amazing. I'm just very indecisive right now because I really want to try all these palettes. I just don't know which ones i think i'm gonna use these right here because i did buy both of these myself i do want to do something out of my comfort zone this palette is so pretty it looks prettier in person to be honest so yeah let's see what we come up with here i have two palettes right in front of me oh and also i did get the new morphe and jacqueline um brush collection i may or may not bought the whole entire collection for my giveaway i did buy it and it's on its way so hopefully i reach 200k cases um followers on instagram very soon because i really want to just this is the huge as pr look at this you guys I think oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm just obsessed on the whole entire PR package they did such a great job on doing the PR because it's super unique all right so I have all the eye brushes not all of them but the ones that I'm gonna need right now I think I'm gonna be taking this GH 30 that's so cute her initials but this is how the brush looks like right here I don't know if you guys can see it the first shade that I'm going to be picking up is from the Natasha Denona Tropical Palette. I'm going to be taking Fake Tan, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my crease. Whoa. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this eye. Okay, so now we're done with the transition color. I am obsessed with this brush. It's so good to blend out your crease and it's super like large, you know? Um, this will work perfectly for that have really big crease space like I do. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kylie palette and I'm just gonna take this color right here, which is blazing, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm always getting all these shades wrong. And I'm gonna be taking the Morphe and Jacqueline brush collection. This is GH34 and all I'm gonna do is apply this color right here. So far so good. It's not like messing up the other eyeshadow. Wow, that color is so pretty too. And now I'm going to move on to this side. What I'm liking about these brushes is that their bristles are not um, shedding. And they're blending out beautifully as you guys can see. But I can't wait to use the actual like face brushes. Those are going to be good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start to darken up the crease. I'm going to be taking this um, GH35, also from the Morphe and Jacqueline collab. Alright, so I'm going to be taking Coco from the Natasha Denona palette. And all I'm going to do is start to darken up the outer corner. And I'm just going to do circular motions. All together, they're blending very beautifully. Oh wait, I'm having like a patchy moment right here. Hold up. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like kind of patchy right there. 
Holy shit, that's very patchy. Hold on. Let's see if we can blend it out. Oh, don't panic. No, it's kind of like just staying there. I'm trying to blend it out. I think it's just my fault because I'm mixing two different palettes together. Okay, the more I'm adding, the more it's like unnoticeable. But it is kind of patchy, not gonna lie. Looks very bad. I'm just gonna leave it alone, you guys. I feel like if I leave it alone, you know, it's just gonna, it's not gonna go away, you know? So now I'm gonna be doing this. I see if this one reacts the same. This one actually didn't do that. As you guys can see, it's blending out very nice. Maybe it has to do with my eyelid. It's probably dry there. So that's my fault because right here, it's being very, very good. As you guys can see, I'm not having any dry patches or anything. So it's all good here. All right, guys, so we're good to go with that step. I'm going to go ahead and now take this color right here which is tiger lily and i'm just going to be taking it with the jh 41 brush wow this is so fucking beautiful and this brush is doing its job so beautifully it's really just packing it on and I'm not having a lot of fallout, which is a good thing. My first time trying their eyeshadows and I've heard really, really great things and I see why now. They're so pretty and pigmented. I'm going to add a little bit of cocoa on the outer corner just to blend out the shades together. Marry them if that makes sense. Now I'm going to be taking JH40, which is a very, very small type of brush. And all, and all I'm going to do is just mix these two together. Let's take a more darker shade. I'm going to be taking the Dazzle Colors and I Love Set I Collab. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. I noticed that I didn't use this color. So this color is, what is it? Finders Keepers. But it has a little bit of like shimmer. So hopefully it's a good. Just want to mix these two together. Yeah, that's perfect actually. And then I'm going to go with this brush with the GH, JH40. And I'm going to be taking JH35. Yeah, 35. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply one more right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to apply it right here on the inner corner. It's going to be this mint frost color on the Tasha and Denona palette. Guess we're kind of done here. I'm going to go ahead and do this eye off camera because it is... It did take me a little long and then I'll be right back to finish up the face makeup. All right, so now we have our eyes done and I did get fallout, but it's very, very minimal and normal. So I went ahead and applied more of that CO cream. So now I'm just going to prep my skin before foundation and all that. So the primers that I'm going to be using are these right here from Huda Beauty. This is the Mew matte and dewy primer to perfection so this is how the packaging looks like and i think i'm gonna apply both just because right now my skin is a little on the drier side so i'm gonna be taking the matte first and i'm actually going to be applying this on my t-zone area wherever i get super oily hopefully they're not like silicone-y because i've been trying to just stay away from silicone primers so oh that was a lot did you guys see that? That was super, like, that's a lot. On the T-zone area. 
They do have a scent, but honestly, I don't mind the scent as long as it works, you know, and it doesn't break me out. I got wood. Where's that wood? It's not like a silicone primer. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a regular kind of consistency, but I really like it. It's not silicone-y like I said, which is a good thing for me. So now I'm going to be taking the Complexion Perfection Dewy. I think this is the Dewy one. This is not so liquidy. If you guys can hear it, this is more liquidy. The matte one is more liquidy, which is kind of weird, kind of different, I would say. Oh, th this one has a pump, which is cool. Oh, that's just how the product is i'm just gonna be applying this on the outer perimeters of my face so wherever i didn't apply primer that's where i'm gonna apply it and this one does have a scent i really like it it's very kind of like moisturizing so now i'm just gonna apply my foundation and i am gonna update you guys on how the foundation wore or the primer and all that kind of stuff so yeah just keep an eye for that on the description box all right so i did get the new Too Faced tutti fruity foundation and and this is how the packaging looks like right here. I actually got a lot of um, foundation shades, so I'm really happy because that means that I get to um, put them in my giveaway. Um, but these are the shades right here uh, that I think are closest to my shade. I got Honey, Warm Sand, Golden Beige, and Maple. So let's see if any of these, you know, match me. I'm first going to go in with Honey because I am the color Honey in the Born This Way foundation. So let's see if this is like my shade right here Ooh, very close wow i think this is it first try ding ding okay i like that this is how the packaging looks like right here and it is the do do you full coverage foundation sorry i didn't mention that in the beginning but they're the do you foundations and this is how the packaging looks like there is 1.35 ounces all right let's see so it's saying that it's full, full coverage. So I think I might do this side with my makeup addiction sponge and the other side with, um... Ooh. Wow. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but... And it does have a scent. Like I said on a lot of my videos that I don't mind the scent. As long as it works, I don't mind it. The coverage is pretty nice. Okay, so far so good. I don't think I need another layer, but I am gonna do the side now. It's not making my nose cracky whatsoever. I like the scent, you guys. Okay, like I mentioned in the beginning, I do not have a new concealer. I actually do, but I mean, it's not new, like a new product that just came out, but it is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I heard really, really great things about this concealer, so hopefully I like it. I'm just going to use it right today. Ooh, that is creamy. Oh, wow. It's just gliding on like a dream. Okay, Bare Minerals. It is super full coverage, which is a good thing because who wants a concealer that's not full coverage? Let's keep it real. So I don't have a new contour cream stick, but I'm going to just use my Wet n Wild contour stick from Elsie Cosmetics. A lot of people are like, that sponge is so huge. And it is. It's a huge old sponge. Like, look at the size of the sponge. I bought it in LA because I was in the Nami store. Let's move on to setting thy face. I'm going to be taking this Beauty Bakery Powder. And this is, I think, the shade Flower. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just put some on the cap. Oh, this is how the powder looks like. It's yellow. And what I'm going to do is get rid of any creases I have going on under my eye. And I heard really great things, especially from Jackie Ina. So let's see. This doesn't have a scent. 
wow why haven't i tried this powder you guys it's amazing where has this been i know it's been in my counter but wow it's so good you guys like my skin feels so soft under my eyes. It's so crazy. It feels like baby's butt. All right, so I'm going to be trying these Anastasia powder bronzers. I've never tried these, like, ever. So I'm going to let you guys know today. I'm going to spill the tea. I have the shade Cappuccino and Saddle. I'm going to be applying it with this Morphe. This is the JH06, and I'm going to be taking Saddle. love this product right here find it with this brush it's super super nice because it's kind of like slanted if you guys see it you can even apply your blush with this so now for blush i'm really excited to try this blush because i've never tried joey cosmetics this is it right here this is the rose gold blush duo i believe these are new so i'm freaking excited they have marigold and they have rose petal i think this is rose petal this is marigold if i'm not mistaken oh and i'm going to be applying it with this jh04 brush also from morphe and jacqueline Oh my god, this is beautiful. I did put the Jenny69 Batty Lashes. They're so nice. I'm going to be taking this brush. This is the JH38 brush. And I'm going to take Fake Tan again all over my lower lash line. I'm going to take a blazing again, and then I'm just going to apply this on the lower lash line. And I'm going to be taking cocoa again, and then also darkening up my lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to be taking the new Morphe Eyebrow Products very excited okay so these are it right here and i'm pretty sure they're in different types of colors i mean shades this one is chocolate mousse almond biscotti biscotti whatever the hazelnut java and latte and mocha but this is the packaging right here it's, uh latte so let's see let's So far, I really like the the. What are these? Oh my god, these are micro brow pencils. They're really really nice. All right, they also came out with pomades, guys. This is how the packaging looks like. I'm gonna be taking chocolate mousse. That's really really pigmented. I don't know if I'm feeling the lashes. I think I'm gonna change these. All right guys, so I already lip lined my lips. I did it with the LA Girl lip liner. I'll leave it down below. I'm gonna be taking this Anastasia lipstick in Honey. Oh, that's so pretty alone. I almost forgot to highlight. Who am I? I'm going to be taking this Pixie highlighter. This is the Glowy Gosmer Duo. Taking this one right here. This actually has been sitting on my counter for a really, really, really long time and I've never picked it up. Wow, that's really pretty. You know who I saw raving about this? I don't know if you guys follow um diana but she's like a beautiful girl here on youtube and i always watch her videos i'm like obsessed with her videos right now that um she like got me into this i'm like i need to try it i had it in my vanity i just never like picked it up so i'm happy i did look at this glow 
So now I'm just going to be taking the Jouer lip paint. This is in Molten Gold. All right, guys, so last but not least, I'm going to be taking my Iconic London Prep Set Glow Mist. And I heard so many good things about this mist. All right. Mmm, it smells so good. Ooh, my skin looks so glowy right now because of that. All right, guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really loved how it turned out. And I will let you guys know on the description box if my makeup lasted, the foundation, everything you guys need to know, I will list it down there. And also subscribe, like this video, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. Catch you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.